this video I'm going to apply UPVC quadrant beading to a shower tray. This is the second video in the series. Originally the shower tray looked like this, then it looked like this before fixing the beading. This is the quadrant PVC moulding that we're going to use and this is 17.5mm in size and it actually cost about £11 for both lengths and these were about a metre long so they are extra long and we do need to cut them down. Obviously in the corner we need to mitre it at 45 degrees so it's dead easy if you just buy a mitre block like that you can actually get smaller ones which are better where you can use a junior hacksaw but for this we're just going to use that. When we measure for the beading we need to go right from one corner to the other so at that end I've got it touching the metal. So we're going to cut the first one about 845 millimetres and we're going to cut the second one at about 860. We can of course trim them down providing we made them long enough in the first place. So we can put that on there. When we put this in the jig we need to ensure that it's perfectly flat and then we need to hold it and then we need to cut it on the 45 degree line. Once we've done the two mitres we can then cut the two pieces to length and one of them is about 15 millimetres longer than the other. So all we need to do with that is hold it in position. We're then going to take the tenon saw and we're just going to carefully cut a mitre at 45 degrees. So that's one of the pieces cut. So I've just drawn a line on that so that I get the cut in the right orientation. So again I'm going to cut a 45 degree mitre on this piece. This time we're going to cut this at 90 degrees in the mitre block. So that one is 845 mil long and this one is going to be 860. You will notice the black glazing packers sticking up. That's because this piece of metal in each corner is approximately two millimeters. So what you could do is you could notch out the beading if you wanted to or I think a better idea is to space that away from the wall by about two millimeters and that will give us a really good bead of silicone. So I'm going to space it two mil away from the wall and two mil up from the shower tray and I'm going to do that by cutting these into small pieces gluing them to the back of the quadrant beading and at each end I've left a slight gap and then we can get a nice bead of silicone in there. I've cut a couple of the glazing packers up into thin slivers and I did that using the aviation snips. You could of course use a pair of decent scissors. When we put these on I'm going to place them obviously we don't want to put them anywhere near the end and I'm going to put them on the inside there and then we still get a nice bead of silicone on the white part. And that should quite literally stick in a matter of seconds. Obviously you don't need to do this if you're going to notch out at the end but I just think it'll be better if we get a bit of a thicker bead of silicone in between the wall and the shower tray. Because this is one of those jobs where you don't want to be doing it twice. So we've now got it in position and that is with the two millimeter packers at the back. When choosing silicone ensure you get sanitary silicone with a mold inhibitor. Never use cheap silicone. I'm using Dow 785. 
So I'm going to start by running a bead on both of the white edges. And it doesn't matter if we miss any because we can get it later. And I have to say that I'm in a really bad position here for uh, applying silicone. We're just going to apply a couple of blobs. So I'm going to carefully pick that up and then place it into position. So I'm now doing exactly the same with the second one. And this one's a little bit more difficult to reach. We'll make sure we get the mitre in the corner there. And I'm going to clean that off using the Fugi kit and I'm using a 5mm bead. I'm now going to do the same along the back. Again, we're going to take the 5mm Fugi. If you look there, you can just see where the food is missed a bit. So I'm just going to go over that bit again. The beauty of these is that you can go over it as many times as necessary. You might just need to go over that a couple of times. We've just got a little bit of a low spot there, so I'm just going to apply a bit more silicone. And then we can go over that again. Again we can take the Fugi with the 5mm bead selected. I've done a few videos on using silicone which I'll link to in the description. I'll also put links to the products that I used in the video. We've just got a bit of a low spot in this corner. We just have to watch out for streaks on the actual beading. It is very difficult to see them in this light, but there is a bit of a streak on that of silicone. So we're just going to take that off the best we can. And then finally we just need to put 
some silicone in the gap at the end there. And then we just need to neaten that up. And then finally I've just got the bit where the mitre is. I'm actually just going to go up the tiles a bit there. Probably just go up the first towel. The reason why I've done that is there seems to be a small crack up the centre. Again, we'll go for a 5mm bead coming down the mitre. We'll go for a 5mm bead in the corner there. Again, I'm going to use the 8mm bead. Just going to slide that in from the side. And the five mil that way. And then the five mil that way. So that's pretty much it. We've got it sealed all the way around. And obviously behind the beading there is actually a good bead of silicone anyway. So that should make it completely waterproof. I will put a link in the description to the first video. I'd leave the silicone at least 24 hours before using the shower.